National Universities Commission has commenced the process of converting the Modibo Adamawa University of Science and Technology into a conventional university. The aim is to enable the institution run programs in the medical sciences. The initiative which is being spearheaded by the lawmaker representing Adamawa Central in the Senate, Senator Aisha Ahmed, is already yielding the desired results with the inauguration of an eight-man committee led by Professor Abdullahi Ribadu on 22nd August 2019, with a time frame of two months to review the law establishing the institution and submit its findings to the NUC leadership. Presenting his recommendation to the NUC boss, Professor Ribadu described the proposed medical sciences department as a well-thought initiative that will serve the medical needs of both the people of the Northeast and neighboring countries. Once we start medical sciences, it's going to increase our, our population of doctors. The Federal Medical Center, Iola, will be upgraded to the university teachers. That will open room for all uh, medical uh, doctors to be trained, we have more consultants, and then the uh, health uh, level will be enhanced to the next level. A later Senator Ahmed in her remarks restated the commitment of the National Assembly through necessary legislative backing to the Maltec project. So I'm happy to inform you that with me and my other two colleagues, Senator Ishia Kukilipaho and Senator Dino Siaro, with me as the lead promoter of the bill, the bill has since long ago passed the first reading. The whole of Adamawa State, the whole of northeastern Nigeria, will remember you for this effort. Having concluded this phase of the exercise, the NUC leadership is expected to convey its resolution to the Minister of Education for an onward transmission to the Senate. So the implication of what you have done is that immediately. Yola is likely to commence medical program from this year. Two, so, of course, as you have agreed, and I'm sure as the chairman will say, many things will happen, including some changes to the law of Yola. But then, other universities in the country who are in similar position will be in a position because this is not something just unique. That is why. Uh, it had this evaluative uh, effect. You have done something for Yola, but it can also be replicated. Admission into the college, if approved, is expected to commence from 2020-2021 academic session. CNN News.